Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can upgrade our current Wazoo version to the latest 4.8.0 release. We are going to upgrade our Wazoo Manager, our Wazoo Indexer, and the Wazoo Dashboards to the 4.8.0 release. So stick around and we'll jump into it. Uh, Wazoo has released 4.8.0, which is actually a fairly big release uh, looking at their release notes. They've completely refactored the vulnerability detection and they've made some changes to the UI. Um, they've also done a lot of other changes, which I'll link uh, to this document in the description below. They have had a significant release to the vulnerability detection, which will also require us to uh, kind of update the configuration on the osec.conf, which is the configuration file for our Wazoo manager. I'll get into a little more details as to how the vulner vulnerability data for the agents that the Wazoo agent is uh, scanning is also being stored within the Wazoo indexer. Um, I have also updated Copilot to make it backwards compatible uh, before to get the vulnerability data. Copilot was using the APIs to collect vulnerability data from the Wazoo Manager. However, as you can see, these have now been depreciated and removed as of 4.7.0. So I have updated Copilot to read essentially directly from the vulnerability index rather than access the API that uh, no longer exists. So let's go ahead and actually jump into it. So on my uh, Wazoo Manager here, if I run a var, OSEC bin, OSEC control. You can see we are currently on version uh, 4.7.5 and same for the indexer and for the uh, dashboard. What I'm first gonna go ahead and do is just stop all of the services. So I'm gonna stop the indexer, the manager, and then uh, the dashboard as well. And for this instance, um, I do have all of the services running on the same VM. This is just a, a demo. VM, but in a production environment, you, you likely have a VM dedicated to the indexer um, or indexers if you're running a cluster, uh, the Wazoo manager, and usually the Wazoo dashboard, I just combine on one of the, the indexers. So we've got all of our services stops. Now I want to upgrade the individual packages. Um, you could of course run a system-wide update to update, but I'm gonna just, specify each package individually. The, the the order that I'm gonna run an upgrade, I'm gonna first do the indexer, and then I'm gonna do the Wazoo dashboard, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the Wazoo manager. You don't necessarily have to follow this, but I kinda like to always work backwards to forwards uh, when it comes to upgrades. So I'm gonna go ahead and first update the indexer. Uh, I'm gonna give it the only upgrade flag and say Wazoo indexer. So here we can see we're now grabbing release uh, 4.8.0 of the Wazoo indexer. All right, so that looks good. Uh, let me see if it's running, which I don't think it will be. Yep, inactive. All right, cool. So let's start this guy up and make sure that we're able to start the service without any issues. If I run a tail on the logs. Okay, initialized, uh, and we're at a green status, so that looks good. All right, so it looks like our uh, indexer is upgraded and healthy. Now let's go ahead and run an update on the Wazoo dashboard as well. So we'll bump this version up to 4.8. It's asking if I want to keep my current configuration or replace it with the package maintainers version. I'm gonna go ahead and do no. I want to keep my same configuration and not overwrite it. So let's start the Wazoo dashboard service and make sure things are still looking he healthy. Oh, let me hit it with a daemon reload. And if I say like a watch, we should see the service starting up. All right, looks like we're listening on 443. Let me make sure I can access it from my browser here, and then we'll immediately see the UI changes. After logging in here, um, yeah, they have significantly changed the side menu. The menu options that used to be in my Wazoo Manager, that service is still down, right? So our API connection isn't gonna work. So we'll get to that here in a sec. But it looks like they've broken everything out into the side menus here. Here's our vulnerability detection that I see, so we'll be able to check that out, where you can manage your rules and stuff. So they made some UI changes, 
But let's go ahead and progress to upgrading the manager. So we've got uh, the indexer is good, the dashboard's good. Now let's upgrade our Wazoo manager service. So we're pulling the 4.8.0 release. And the manager needs to be on the same version as the uh, indexer and dashboard or else the UI will give you an error saying there's a mismatch in the in the versions. So if you upgrade your indexer and dashboard, you will also need to make sure that you upgrade your, your manager as well. This is interesting. I guess during the upgrade, they try to delete the directory because this isn't going to be used. I think previously they stored the vulnerabilities in a SQLite database on the manager, where now since the vulnerabilities are going to be stored within an index on the Wazoo indexer, uh, we technically no longer need this, uh, need this directory here. So, all right. So it looks like that has installed. So that's good. Now we need to make a change here to our osec.com. So previously how we did the vulnerability detector, you had to individually enable the various feeds. So here we see we have one for Ubuntu, uh, Debian, so the various flavors of Linux, uh, Amazon Linux, uh, Windows. With their latest update in the 4.8 release, they've actually made this a lot easier to manage, uh, in my opinion. Uh, if we go to, I think it's, yeah, this guy. Yeah, here we go. So here we can see that the configuration blocks that we need to include. So here we have our vulnerability detection tag and then this indexer tag, which I'll get to here in a sec. Um, but this is the only portion that we need for our vulnerability detection configuration. So Wazoo is actually gonna host uh, the vulnerability feeds for us externally. So. Uh, within their cloud infrastructure that they use. And so the Wazoo manager is essentially just going to download feeds from their updated data set of that. So it makes it a lot easier for, for us to manage. We really don't have to manage anything. Uh, we just can set our feed update interval to whatever time that you, you want necessary. I'll just leave mine to the default. What we can go ahead and do is uh, copy this block here and on my current uh, osec.conf, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tags from vulnerability detector all the way down to the closing uh, vulnerability detector tag as well. All right, so I'll make, and then I'll make some space. I'll go ahead and paste that in there. All right, so we got that piece done. So we actually don't need to change anything. And here we're also stating index status to yes. So we're telling the manager, hey, we do want to use this indexer block that we have here. So I'm also going to copy this block and I'm going to paste that below as well. And here we'll define our settings here in a sec. But before I do that, I'm actually going to scroll down to the bottom and you see as part of the update so to the bottom of this osec.com file that they've added this osec config block with the indexer block that we just added. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this whole block and cut that out because we are putting it up here. And I recommend you guys to do so, especially if you're using the, uh, if you wanna use Copilot to provision the Office 365, um, we require there not to be multiple OSEC config blocks within your OSEC.conf. We move the indexer up within, up to the same general location where we had the old vulnerability detector. We can manage that directly here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and step through our uh, configuration for the indexer. So for the host, so you can, you guys can see here, so we first set it to enabled. Now we need to point to the host of our Wazoo indexers. Now. I believe if you have multiple, I only have multiple indexers, you could just copy your block. Like if I had a cluster of indexers, I could just copy my blocks and put them here and point to the various hosts. However, I only have um, my one host, so I'm just gonna leave it to one. Um, and then here we have to define our certificate. We don't use FileBeat to write our Wazoo alerts to our Wazoo indexers. We use Graylog to do so. All right, so we're not gonna have these file beat certs. I'm just gonna take advantage of the current cert that I'm using for the Wazoo indexers. Um, so if I go here into cert, here I'm just going to use these three certs here. So we have the, the private key and the certificate for this actual server itself, and then we have our root CA here, which we'll also need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these guys into var osec etc. So I'll put them in the same directory as our osec.conf. And then I'm gonna do the same for the root CA 
as well. Um, so now if I CD and Navar OSEC, I don't know if they need special permissions or ownership. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the Wazoo group as well. CH own root Wazoo, and then for the indexer, and then for the root CA, and I'll set out and all right, cool. So we've got our uh, ownership modified. I'll change the fi file executions if needed. Um, so I guess we'll see. We'll we'll be able to tell if if this is gonna work or not. So. Let me open back up the osec.conf, go back to my indexer block, and here uh, I'm gonna change my path. Here I wrote them Navar osec etc, and then I'm gonna change the path here, and then this is gonna be indexer.pim for the certs, and then indexer-key.pim, and then I'm gonna point to my location. All right, cool, so that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. But now I need to make sure that, I need to verify that the host that I'm pointing to here uh, within my host block has, has this value within their SAN. So that can either be the IP address or uh, the DNS name um, within their certificate that they are using. I'm running this on the same server as my Wazoo uh, indexer. If you're pointing to a remote Wazoo indexer, you would just run this same command. I could use the IP address or I could use the uh, DNS name. I'm just going to go ahead and use the DNS name. So instead of pointing to uh, o .o .o here, I'm going to go ahead and point to wazoo-upgrade. Um, because this will be a valid name and I won't get an SSL error, or at least I shouldn't. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and I'll clear that out. And then lastly, we need to actually add the credentials to the key store here. So if I scroll down within their, uh, within the documentation, you can see you must save the Wazoo indexer username and password into the Wazoo manager key store. I'm not totally sure and they don't actually cover within their documentation what role uh this user would need to have um so it's definitely going to have to be able to write and create indexes to the wazoo indexer but they don't really give us any permissions or roles that they recommend that this user have or at least not that i've seen so i'm just going to go ahead and use the admin user um, if you guys do know or play around with what roles work then uh, feel free to drop them in the comments or, or on the Discord because that would be that'd be much appreciated. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy that command for my user of admin, and then I'm gonna do the similar command here um, for the uh, for the password of the admin user. So this will add uh, these users to the key store here, and then lastly, I'm gonna restart the manager service, and we should see that the new vulnerability index gets created. All right, cool. Here we can see indexer connector initialized successfully for index, wazoo states vulnerability. We can now see that our new configuration for the vulnerability det detection has worked. Um, we see the module starting. Here we see it downloading the feed, so that's good. So now if we pop back onto our indexer and if we go into index management here, we should see our vulnerability index get created. And yeah, here we see that here. So cool. So what this means too, is that we'll actually be able, to, if you guys have been following along, you guys are used to any Wazoo alert first being routed through Greylog. But here we have our Wazoo manager directly creating the index into the Wazoo indexer. The vulnerability logs are not being routed through Greylog but they are going straight from the Wazoo manager and the Wazoo manager is, is writing to this index um, as part of the configuration that we just defined. So if I go into my vulnerability detection, let's see if we've got anything. And yeah, so sure enough, I don't know what those errors were for a sec. Maybe something was just cached, but here we can now see that we can actually use uh, Wazoo's vulnerability detection dashboards to view the vulnerabilities using the the latest and greatest version of Wazoo. So I guess they've changed this up a little bit. I don't know. I haven't really poked around their dashboards to to be honest. And also, since this is an index, right? Oh, I can do it there. Yeah, cool. So they've already created the index pattern. 
for it as well. I can load just the index here as well um, to pull stuff out from the side. Um, so yeah, so again, as I've mentioned a few times, um, Copilot is now backwards compatible. So whether you're running the latest version of Wazoo or a pre-existing or an older uh, release, then Copilot will will should work at least for both both scenarios. Please do drop us an issue on on GitHub if if you guys come across any issues with that. Um, but yeah, so that is that was the biggest change that I wanted to note regarding the upgrade. As there was a pretty significant change to the uh, vulnerability detection, and I I don't know this change was kind of annoying with the whole them creating a re-index, but I do like that they're now hosting feeds that make it a lot easier to keep like your vulnerability feeds up to date. So I do really like that portion. I think it'll be a lot easier for uh, for for teams to to manage the vulnerability feeds that are being used to assess the agent. So I do really like that improvement. Um, so yeah, but as you can see, pretty straightforward. Uh, we just had to make that change in the OSEC.com for the new vulnerability detection piece. But other than that, not too difficult to, to get upgraded to the uh, latest and greatest version of Wazoo. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I do appreciate you guys' time, and I'll see you in the next one.